Palestine, Arabic, Fleestan Falastan, officially the state of Palestine, Arabic, Dwelt Fleestan Dalit Falastan, is a de jure sovereign state in the Middle East claiming the West Bank, bordering Israel and Jordan, and Gaza Strip, bordering Israel and Egypt, with East Jerusalem as the designated capital, although its administrative center is currently located in Ramallah. Most of the areas claimed by the state of Palestine have been occupied by Israel since 1967 in the consequence of the Six Day War. Palestine has a population of 4,550,368 as of 2014, ranked 123rd in the world. After World War II, in 1947, the United Nations adopted a partition plan for mandatory Palestine recommending the creation of independent Arab and Jewish states and an internationalized Jerusalem. After the establishment of a Jewish state in Eretz Israel, to be known as the State of Israel on 14 May 1948, neighboring Arab armies invaded the former British Mandate on the next day and fought the Israeli forces. Later, the All-Palestine Government was established by the Arab League on of September 1948 to govern the Egyptian-controlled enclave in Gaza. It was soon recognized by all Arab League members except Transjordan. Though jurisdiction of the government was declared to cover the whole of the former mandatory Palestine, its effective jurisdiction was limited to the Gaza Strip. Israel later captured the Gaza Strip and the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt, the West Bank including East Jerusalem from Jordan, and the Golan Heights from Syria in June 1967 following the Six-Day War. On 15 November 1988, Yasser Arafat, chairman of the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO, in Algiers proclaimed the establishment of the State of Palestine. A year after the signing of the Oslo Accords in 1993, the Palestinian National Authority was formed to govern the areas A and B in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Gaza would later be ruled by Hamas in 2007, two years after the Israeli withdrawal from Gaza. The state of Palestine is recognized by 136 UN members and since 2012 has a status of a non-member observer state in the United Nations, which implies recognition of statehood. It is a member of the Arab League, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, G77, and the International Olympic Committee and other international bodies. Etymology Since the British mandate, the term Palestine has been associated with the geographical area that currently covers the state of Israel, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. General use of the term Palestine or related terms to the area at the southeast corner of the Mediterranean Sea beside Syria has historically been taking place since the times of ancient Greece, with Herodotus writing of a district of Syria, called Palestine in which Phoenicians interacted with other maritime peoples in the histories, some other terms that have been used to refer to all or part of the geographical region of Palestine include Canaan, Land of Israel, Eretz Yisrael or Haaretz, Greater Syria, the Holy Land, Ayudea Province, Judea, Coel Syria, Israel Hashlima, Kingdom of Israel, Kingdom of Jerusalem, Zion, Rutenu, Ancient Egyptian, Southern Syria, Southern Levant and Syria Palestina. Geography The areas claimed by the state of Palestine lie in the Levant. The Gaza Strip borders the Mediterranean Sea to the west, Egypt to the south, and Israel to the north and east. The West Bank is bordered by Jordan to the east, and Israel to the north, south, and west. Thus, the two enclaves constituting the area claimed by state of Palestine have no geographical border with one another, being separated by Israel. These areas would constitute the world's 163rd largest country by land area. History In 1947, the UN adopted a partition plan for a two-state solution in the remaining territory of the mandate. The plan was accepted by the Jewish leadership but rejected by the Arab leaders, and Britain refused to implement the plan. On the eve of final British withdrawal, the Jewish Agency for Israel declared the establishment of the State of Israel according to the proposed UN plan. The Arab Higher Committee did not declare a state of its own and instead, together with Transjordan, Egypt, and the other members of the Arab League of the time, commenced military action resulting in the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. 
During the war, Israel gained additional territories that were designated to be part of the Arab state under the UN plan. Egypt occupied the Gaza Strip and Transjordan occupied and then annexed the West Bank. Egypt initially supported the creation of an all-Palestine government, but disbanded it in 1959. Transjordan never recognized it and instead decided to incorporate the West Bank with its own territory to form Jordan. The annexation was ratified in 1950 but was rejected by the international community. The Six-Day War in 1967, when Israel fought against Egypt, Jordan, and Syria, ended with Israel occupying the West Bank and Gaza Strip, besides other territories. In 1964, when the West Bank was controlled by Jordan, the Palestine Liberation Organization was established there with the goal to confront Israel. The Palestinian National Charter of the PLO defines the boundaries of Palestine as the whole remaining territory of the mandate, including Israel. Following the Six-Day War, the PLO moved to Jordan, but later relocated to Lebanon after Black September in 1971. The October 1974 Arab League Summit designated the PLO as the sole legitimate representative of the Palestinian people and reaffirmed their right to establish an independent state of urgency. In November 1974, the PLO was recognized as competent on all matters concerning the question of Palestine by the UN General Assembly granting them observer status as a non-state entity at the UN. After the 1988 Declaration of Independence, the UN General Assembly officially acknowledged the proclamation and decided to use the designation Palestine instead of Palestine Liberation Organization. In the UN, in spite of this decision, the PLO did not participate at the UN in its capacity of the State of Palestine's government. In 1979, through the Camp David Accords, Egypt signaled an end to any claim of its own over the Gaza Strip. In July 1988, Jordan ceded its claims to the West Bank with the exception of guardianship over Haram al Sharif to the PLO. In November 1988, the PLO legislature, while in exile, declared the establishment of the State of Palestine. In the month following, it was quickly recognized by many states, including Egypt and Jordan. In the Palestinian Declaration of Independence, the State of Palestine is described as being established on the Palestinian territory, without explicitly specifying further. Because of this, some of the countries that recognized the state of Palestine in their statements of recognition refer to the 1967 borders, thus recognizing as its territory only the occupied Palestinian territory, and not Israel. The UN membership application submitted by the state of Palestine also specified that it is based on the 1967 borders. During the negotiations of the Oslo Accords, the PLO recognized Israel's right to exist, and Israel recognized the PLO as representative of the Palestinian people. Between 1993 and 1998, the PLO made commitments to change the provisions of its Palestinian National Charter that are inconsistent with the aim for a two-state solution and peaceful coexistence with Israel. After Israel took control of the West Bank from Jordan and Gaza Strip from Egypt, it began to establish Israeli settlements there. These were organized into Judea and Samaria District West Bank, and Hof Aza Regional Council Gaza Strip, in the Southern District. Administration of the Arab population of these territories was performed by the Israeli Civil Administration of the Coordinator of Government Activities in the Territories and by local municipal councils present since before the Israeli takeover. In 1980, Israel decided to freeze elections for these councils and to establish instead village leagues, whose officials were under Israeli influence. Later this model became ineffective for both Israel and the Palestinians, and the village leagues began to break up, with the last being the Hebron League, dissolved in February 1988. In 1993, in the Oslo Accords, Israel acknowledged the PLO negotiating team as representing the Palestinian people in return for the PLO recognizing Israel's right to exist in peace, acceptance of UN Security Council Resolutions 242 and 338, and its rejection of violence and terrorism. 
As a result, in 1994 the PLO established the Palestinian National Authority PNA or PA Territorial Administration, that exercises some governmental functions in parts of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. In 2007, the Hamas takeover of Gaza Strip politically and territorially divided the Palestinians, with Abbas. S. Fatah left largely ruling the West Bank and recognized internationally as the official Palestinian Authority, while Hamas secured its control over the Gaza Strip. In April 2011, the Palestinian parties signed an agreement of reconciliation, but its implementation had stalled until a unity government was formed on 2 June 2014. As envisioned in the Oslo Accords, Israel allowed the PLO to establish interim administrative institutions in the Palestinian territories, which came in the form of the PNA. It was given civilian control in Area B and civilian and security control in Area A, and remained without involvement in Area C in 2005. Following the implementation of Israel's unilateral disengagement plan, the PNA gained full control of the Gaza Strip with the exception of its borders, airspace, and territorial waters. Following the inter-Palestinian conflict in 2006, Hamas took over control of the Gaza Strip, it already had majority in the PLC, and Fatah took control of the West Bank. From 2007, the Gaza Strip was governed by Hamas, and the West Bank by Fatah. On 29 November 2012, in a 138-9 vote, with 41 abstentions and 5 absences, the United Nations General Assembly passed Resolution 67 upgrading Palestine from an observer entity to a non-member observer state within the United Nations system, which was described as recognition of the PLO's sovereignty. Palestine's new status is equivalent to that of the Holy See. The UN has permitted Palestine to title its representative office to the UN as the Permanent Observer Mission of the State of Palestine to the United Nations, and Palestine has instructed its diplomats to officially represent the State of Palestine, no longer the Palestinian National Authority. On 17 December 2012, UN Chief of Protocol Yochul Yun declared that the designation of State of Palestine shall be used by the Secretariat in all official United Nations documents, thus recognizing the title, State of Palestine, as the state's official name for all UN purposes. As of 3 August 2018, 137 of the 193 member states of the United Nations have recognized the State of Palestine. Many of the countries that do not recognize the state of Palestine nevertheless recognize the PLO as the representative of the Palestinian people. The PLO's executive committee is empowered by the Palestinian National Council to perform the functions of government of the state of Palestine. Politics Government the State of Palestine consists of the following institutions that are associated with the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO. President of the State of Palestine, appointed by the Palestinian Central Council Palestinian National Council, the legislature that established the State of Palestine Executive Committee of the Palestine Liberation Organization, performs the functions of a government in exile, maintaining an extensive foreign relations network. These should be distinguished from the President of the Palestinian National Authority, Palestinian Legislative Council PLC, and PNA Cabinet, all of which are instead associated with the Palestinian National Authority. The State of Palestine's founding document is the Palestinian Declaration of Independence, and it should be distinguished from the unrelated PLO Palestinian National Covenant and PNA Palestine Basic Law. Administrative divisions The State of Palestine is divided into 16 administrative divisions. A. Data from Jerusalem includes occupied East Jerusalem with its Israeli population. The governorates in the West Bank are grouped into three areas per the Oslo II Accord. Area A forms 18% of the West Bank by area, and is administered by the Palestinian government. 
Area B forms 22% of the West Bank, and is under Palestinian civil control, and joint Israeli-Palestinian security control. Area C, except East Jerusalem, forms 60% of the West Bank, and is administered by the Israeli Civil Administration, except that the Palestinian government provides the education and medical services to the 150,000 Palestinians in the area. More than 99% of Area C is off-limits to Palestinians. There are about 330,000 Israelis living in settlements in Area C, in the Judea and Samaria area. Although Area C is under martial law, Israelis living there are judged in Israeli civil courts. East Jerusalem, the proclaimed capital of Palestine, is administered as part of the Jerusalem District of Israel, but is claimed by Palestine as part of the Jerusalem Governorate. It was annexed by Israel immediately after the Six-Day War in 1967 and in 1980 the indivisibility of the city was enshrined constitutionally in a basic law but this annexation is not recognized by any other country. Of the 456,000 people in East Jerusalem, roughly 60% are Palestinians and 40% are Israelis. Foreign relations Representation of the State of Palestine is performed by the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO. In states that recognize the State of Palestine it maintains embassies. The Palestine Liberation Organization is represented in various international organizations as member, associate or observer. Because of inconclusiveness in sources in some cases it is impossible to distinguish whether the participation is executed by the PLO as representative of the State of Palestine, by the PLO as a non-state entity or by the PNA. International recognition on 15 December 1988, the State of Palestine's Declaration of Independence of November 1988 was acknowledged in the General Assembly with Resolution 43 as of 3 August 2018, 137 of the 193 member states of the United Nations have recognized the State of Palestine. Many of the countries that do not recognize the State of Palestine nevertheless recognize the PLO as the representative of the Palestinian people. The PLO's executive committee is empowered by the PNC to perform the functions of government of the State of Palestine. On 29 November 2012, UN General Assembly Resolution 6719 passed, upgrading Palestine to non-member observer state status in the United Nations. The change in status was described as de facto recognition of the sovereign state of Palestine. On 3 October 2014, new Swedish Prime Minister Stefan Löfven used his inaugural address in Parliament to announce that Sweden would recognize the state of Palestine. The official decision to do so was made on 30 October, making Sweden the first EU member state outside of the former communist bloc to recognize the state of Palestine. Most of the EU's 28 member states have refrained from recognizing Palestinian statehood and those that do, such as Hungary, Poland, and Slovakia, did so before accession. On 13 October 2014, the UK House of Commons voted by 274 to 12 in favor of recognizing Palestine as a state. The House of Commons backed the move. As a contribution to securing a negotiated two-state solution. Although less than half of MPs took part in the vote. However, the UK government is not bound to do anything as a result of the vote, its current policy is that it reserves the right to recognize a Palestinian state bilaterally at the moment of our choosing and when it can best help bring about peace. On 2 December 2014, the French Parliament voted by 331 to 151 in favor of urging their government to recognize Palestine as a state. The text proposed by the ruling socialists and backed by left-wing parties and some conservatives, asked the government to use the recognition of a Palestinian state with the aim of resolving the conflict definitively. On 31 December 2014, the United Nations Security Council voted down a resolution demanding the end of Israeli occupation and statehood by 2017. Eight members voted for the resolution, Russia, China, France, Argentina, Chad, Chile, Jordan, Luxembourg. However following strenuous U.S. and Israeli efforts to defeat the resolution, it did not get the minimum of nine votes needed to pass the resolution. 
Australia and the United States voted against the resolution, with five other nations abstaining. On 10 January 2015, the first Palestinian embassy in a Western European country is opened in Stockholm, Sweden. On 13 May 2015, the Vatican announced it was shifting recognition from the PLO to the State of Palestine, confirming a recognition of Palestine as a state after the UN vote of 2012. Monsignor Antoine Camilleri, Vatican Foreign Minister, said the change was in line with the evolving position of the Holy See, which has referred unofficially to the State of Palestine since Pope Francis's visit to the Holy Land in May 2014. On 23 December 2015 the UN General Assembly adopted a resolution demanding Palestinian sovereignty over the natural resources in the Palestinian territories under Israeli occupation. It called on Israel to desist from the exploitation, damage, cause of loss or depletion and endangerment of Palestinian natural resources, the right of Palestinians to seek restitution for extensive destruction. The motion was passed by 164 votes to 5, with Canada, Federated States of Micronesia, Israel, Marshall Islands, and the United States opposing. Raising the flag at the UN in August 2015, Palestine's representatives at the UN presented a draft resolution that would allow the non-member observer states Palestine and the Holy See to raise their flags at the United Nations headquarters. Initially, the Palestinians presented their initiative as a joint effort with the Holy See, which the Holy See denied. In a letter to the Secretary General and the President of the General Assembly, Israel's ambassador at the UN Ron Proser called the step, another cynical misuse of the UN in order to score political points. After the vote, the U.S. Ambassador Samantha Power said that, "...raising the Palestinian flag will not bring Israelis and Palestinians any closer together." U.S. Department of State spokesman Mark Toner called it a "...counterproductive," attempt to pursue statehood claims outside of a negotiated settlement. Legal status there are a wide variety of views regarding the status of the state of Palestine, both among the states of the international community and among legal scholars. The existence of a state of Palestine, although controversial, is a reality in the opinions of the states that have established bilateral diplomatic relations. Security the State of Palestine has a number of security forces, including a civil police force, national security forces and intelligence services, with the function of maintaining security and protecting Palestinian citizens and the Palestinian state. Demographics According to the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics, the state of Palestine had population of 4,420,549 people in 2013. Within an area of 6,220 square kilometers, 2,400 square miles, there is a population density of 731 people per square kilometer. To put this in a wider context, the average population density of the world was 53 people per square kilometer based on data from 5 July 2014. Religion 93% of Palestinians are Muslim, the vast majority of whom are followers of the Sunni branch of Islam, with a small minority of Ahmadiyya, and 15% being non-denominational Muslims. Palestinian Christians represent a significant minority of 6%, followed by much smaller religious communities, including Druze and Samaritans. Economy Tourism Tourism in the Palestinian territories refers to tourism in East Jerusalem, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. In 2010, 4.6 million people visited the Palestinian territories, compared to 2.6 million in 2009. Of that number, 2.2 million were foreign tourists while 2.7 million were domestic. Most tourists come for only a few hours or as part of a day trip itinerary. In the last quarter of 2012 over 150,000 guests stayed in West Bank hotels, 40% were European and 9% were from the United States and Canada. Lonely Planet Travel Guide writes that the West Bank is not the easiest place in which to travel but the effort is richly rewarded. 
Quote, in 2013 Palestinian Authority Tourism Minister Rula Ma. I. A stated that her government aims to encourage international visits to Palestine, but the occupation is the main factor preventing the tourism sector from becoming a major income source to Palestinians. There are no visa conditions imposed on foreign nationals other than those imposed by the visa policy of Israel. Access to Jerusalem, the West Bank, and Gaza is completely controlled by the government of Israel. Entry to the occupied Palestinian territories requires only a valid international passport. Infrastructure Communications The communications infrastructure in the Palestinian territories is growing at a very rapid pace and continually being updated and expanded. Transportation Water supply and sanitation Water supply and sanitation in the Palestinian territories are characterized by severe water shortage and are highly influenced by the Israeli occupation. The water resources of Palestine are fully controlled by Israel and the division of groundwater is subject to provisions in the Oslo II Accord. Generally, the water quality is considerably worse in the Gaza Strip when compared to the West Bank. About a third to half of the delivered water in the Palestinian territories is lost in the distribution network. The lasting blockade of the Gaza Strip and the Gaza War have caused severe damage to the infrastructure in the Gaza Strip. Concerning wastewater, the existing treatment plants do not have the capacity to treat all of the produced wastewater, causing severe water pollution. The development of the sector highly depends on external financing. Education. The literacy rate of Palestine was 96.3% according to a 2014 report by the United Nations Development Program, which is high by international standards. There is a gender difference in the population aged above 15 with 5.9% of women considered illiterate compared to 1.6% of men. Illiteracy among women has fallen from 20.3% in 1997 to less than 6% in 2014. Culture. Media There are a number of newspapers, news agencies, and satellite television stations in the state of Palestine. News agencies include Ma'an News Agency, WAFA, Palestine News Network and the satellite television includes Al-Aqsa TV, Al-Quds TV, Sanibel TV. Sports Football is the most popular sport among the Palestinian people. Rugby is also a popular sport. The Palestine national football team represents the country in international football. See also Palestinian self-determination Palestinian territories Israeli-occupied territories Israeli settlement Water rights in Israel-Palestine Notes References Bibliography Further reading External links Status of Palestine in the United Nations a. Res. 67 Full text Cross, Tony, the 24th of September 2011. After Abbas's UN bidder Palestinians closer to having a state? Radio France Internationale. Retrieved the 28th of September 2011. Recognition of a Palestinian state premature legally invalid and undermining any bona fide negotiation process. Political statement accompanying Palestinian declaration of independence. Permanent Observer Mission of Palestine to the United Nations The Historic Compromise, the Palestinian Declaration of Independence and the 20-year struggle for a two-state solution International Recognition of a Unilaterally Declared Palestinian State, Legal and Policy Dilemmas, by Tal Becker